And Libby Templeton is a ag ed teacher at Batesburg Leesville, and not everybody knows what an ag ed teacher does. Yes, ma'am. I'm an agriculture education teacher and FFA advisor at Batesburg Leesville High School, and I have been for the past 16 years. And my job is to teach agriculture education classes to high school students um, who pursue a passion for agriculture. They elect to take these classes. We now have 110 programs in our state across the state of South Carolina and we have uh, that is put on by Clemson University University. And it's not only a state organization, but also a national organization. And I brought two of my students with me this evening, my president, Abby Bloom of the Batesburg Leesville FFA chapter, and my vice president, Tabitha Swagger um, of the Batesburg Leesville FFA chapter. And they're here to share some information with you about their animals they've been showing all across the state, at state, local, state and local county fairs uh, with you tonight. All right. Well, um, Tabitha, come up here with your unusual companion <laughs> and I asked her if she picked this chicken out because it matched her hair I just think the color is remarkable yes, um, there was a white silky that's what I'd have to get to make, match my hair now but tell me who this is you want to let her get down um, this is Mango she is a 22 week old golden comet hen golden comet she's beautiful and how old was she when you got her? She was about a day old. Okay. And we noticed that she likes shiny objects, but of course <laughs> she's not going to do it when we want her to. Oh. oh, she was just a day old. And so yes, did you have to teach her how to feed? Yes, ma'am. You have to show us how you do it. I don't know. When you get a chicken, if it's not with its mother, you have to teach it yes. how to feed. So you do like this and you go, bop, 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 And that way they learn how to bend down. In that, yeah. Now, we are really, the poultry industry is huge in South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. And we don't want, when we have all these birds here, to be spreading diseases. Tell me some of the steps we take to protect our poultry industry. Um, before I took her to the South Carolina uh -huh. State Fair, she got blood tested to make sure that she didn't have any diseases. And she has a clip on her wing that well, shows she, that Johnny she Ogden, got blood yeah. tested here. And so that means that she, we know that she is a disease-free chicken. Yes, ma'am. Isn't that exciting? Now, is she laying eggs for you yet? Yes, ma'am, she is. She lays about one a day. One a day. And do you have other chickens at home? Yes, ma'am. We have more of the Golden Comets, and we also have Silkies and some Bantam chickens. Oh, you have the Silkies. Yes, ma'am. And if y'all haven't been to see the chicken exhibit, it will brighten your heart and because um, they are fascinating animals there, and they, are, they make wonderful pets. And I want to thank you so much for sharing thank it with us. You. And I think that Abby Bloom is going to come up with her rabbit. Oh, very different. What a fancy belt buckle you have on, too, Abby. You look like the State Fair. <laughs> And so um, you are a senior this year. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And who do we have here? Um, this is my mini Rex rabbit, Elsa. Mini Rex. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hello, little rabbit. This is very different from a chicken. And um, so why do y'all have pet, I mean, why do you have these animals that are, well, this is a pet, let's be honest, yeah. And yes, the chicken can be a pet. Why is that part of your process with 4-H and FFA? Um, rabbits are my 4-H project, so um, I have a record book that I have to fill out at the end. Oh, you and, do? Um, and it's based on my shows and all the expenses that I spend on her. And also for um, FFA, uh, the officers at our school have to have an SAE, which is Supervised Agriculture Experience. And my family does not have a lot of lands, like for big animals like cattle and swine. So um, I picked small animals like rabbits. Now, when you take her to a show, um, uh, how do you present her to the judges? Um, I start from her nose and work her way down. And then I flip her over and show her teeth and her, um, her Can you, feet. you want to show us a little bit about it? Sure. So we start with her eyes and um, show that there's no matter. All right. And then we um, we go to the ears and tell them that it's no mites. And then we um, fill her stomach and sides for there's no abscesses. Yes. And then we show the tail that the tail's not broken. Well, there's her tail. <laughs> a little bitty red. Yeah. And then. Um, and then oh we flip her over uh -huh. and we show her nose and her mouth. Look at that. And then we count her feet or her toes and we fill her belly for uh -huh. abscesses. abscesses. Uh -huh. And then we show the straightness of the legs. And then we show well, the gender lot. of the uh -huh. rabbit. There's a lot involved. And what is this flap of skin that I see under some of the rabbits in the rabbit display? 
Um, the flap of skin is called a dewlap, and all female rabbits have them. All right. Well, thank you so very much. Thank you. And her name is? Elsa. Elsa. All righty. Well, Libby, um, your girls and your students have been up here all week showing and participating yes, in agricultural things. Is there a way for these people who think they may want to pursue careers in agriculture to perhaps get some financial support for their college career? There is very much so, yes, ma'am. Um, well, to get involved, they need to join 4-H at a young age, and then the, once they get into high school, they can join FFA. And then the financial support side, both of my girls behind me have applied for scholarships, and won both, both of them actually have won scholarships up here. Abby won a $500 scholarship for Region 4 for uh, the South Carolina Association Affairs uh, scholarship for FFA this week. Congratulations. And then showing swine today, Tabitha won a $1,500 scholarship for showing her pigs. <laughs> and it does go a lot more than just showing these animals. And they not only have to take care of them and you know train them and things like that and halt all these shows, but these girls have to do, like they were talking about their record books and things like Tabitha had to do um, a quiz today, an essay, an interview, um, and besides just showing and things like that. So that goes a lot into these and the applications and things like that. So these girls work very, very hard and I'm very proud of both of them and so do all of my students. I have 61 members in my chapter and we do a little bit of everything at Batesburg Gleesville. <laughs> <laughs> I know ag ed teachers do it all. We want to thank That's you right. so very thank much. Thank you very much for having us. All right.